That doesn't sound good. New research has found evidence that Earth's magnetic poles have shifted rapidly once before and could lead to a global catastrophe should it happen again. The Earth is surrounded by a magnetic field that shields the planet's surface from charged particles constantly being emitted by the Sun. The field can switch directions, a phenomenon known as geomagnetic reversal is believed to unfold slowly over thousands of years, with the last full reversal occurring 780,000 years ago. A new study analyzed a Chinese stalagmite that grew over a 16,000-year period. Variations in the rock's magnetic minerals revealed a huge polarity shift 98,000 years ago that occurred in just 144 years. Previous studies have suggested that the magnetic field could weaken by about 90% during a reversal, which will greatly impact power grids and modern electronics. Unfortunately, pole shifts can't be predicted, and we can only hope it happens far enough in the future to when humanity has come up with certain technologies to avoid significant damage. Here's other stuff you might want to know about the planet. Ever wonder how the Earth was formed? Two new studies published in the journal Nature have shed some light on how Earth's strange chemical makeup came to be. Our solar system began some 4.6 billion years ago as a swirling disk of gas and dust. This all came together to form rocks, planetesimals and eventually full-sized planets. But scientists have long been puzzled by the difference in composition between Earth and the meteorites believed to have formed it. The answer, it seems, lies in Earth's explosive history. Early Earth often collided with other planetary bodies, with the impact generating enough heat to turn rocks into either magma or hot vapor. One study estimates the planet lost 40% of its mass from this process. A second study combined Earth rock with volatile elements such as gold, silver, and zinc oxide and heated it to 1,300 degrees Celsius. After cooling the rock, they discovered that the volatile elements had evaporated. The same vapor loss was found in samples from Mars and the asteroid Vesta, suggesting that the phenomenon occurs in similar-sized bodies. The two studies may have solved some riddles about the Earth's composition, but many, many mysteries remain. Scientists discover ice in some ice. That's deep. Geologists unearth impure diamonds from mines in southern Africa, Zaire, Sierra Leone, and China and discovered they contain ice crystals, which means pockets of water may exist deep in the Earth's mantle. Researchers found more than a dozen diamonds with a distinct form of crystallized water known as Ice 7. Ice 7 has been studied in labs, but these samples are the first known natural samples. Because of the team's discovery, Ice 7 has been classified as a new mineral. The ice crystals suggest pockets of watery fluid may be present in the Earth's mantle, despite the high temperatures. The scientists estimated that diamonds were formed at depths between 610 and 800 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Researchers were unable to determine the exact location of the pockets or how common they may be. Diamonds may be hidden deep below Earth's surface. It turns out diamonds may not be that special. A new study from MIT suggests the interior of Earth is filled with a quadrillion tons of diamonds. Scientists estimate the diamonds are more than 100 miles below the surface, beneath the continental tectonic plates. The study estimates 1 to 2 percent of the cratonic roots may be filled with diamonds. A statement from MIT News says scientists came to this conclusion while they were trying to construct an image of what the Earth's interior might look like. Researchers created virtual rock models to test what material would allow sound waves to travel that quickly through the cratonic roots. The result was diamonds. Scientists came up with an estimate of around a quadrillion tons of diamonds by taking into account the total volume of cratonic roots scattered inside Earth. Nifty Ever looked at a map of Earth millions of years ago and wondered where certain modern-day locations were supposed to be? Well, you'll want to thank your lucky stars because someone's just made a map to let you do exactly that. The Ancient Earth Globe is a cool little online tool curated by Ian Webster, the same genius who meticulously compiled the dinosaur database. Webster's interactive map allows users to see how the Earth has evolved from 750 million years ago to the present. 
To do so, he adapted a software used by geologists to visualize plate tectonics and overlaid his map with modern political boundaries. It's got the added bonus of an address search, so you can pin a location and see where it was during the Ice Age, the Age of Dinosaurs, or even post-extinction. The site has neat extras, like short descriptions on the bottom left-hand side that lets you know exactly what the conditions are during any given time period. Alternatively, you might also want to jump through the stages of evolution, like when the first vertebrates appeared, or the first primates or hominids. Granted, it may not be the most accurate, but it's still pretty damn cool, and a good way to educate yourself, your wife, and your kids. Long day. New research shows that days on Earth are getting longer as the moon slowly spirals away from us. Due to gravitational forces between Earth and its satellite, the moon moves away at a rate of 3.82 centimeters per year, causing our planet's rotation to slow. According to NASA, Earth currently completes a full rotation on its axis every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. But researchers using astrochronology on geological rock layers found that when the moon was closer to Earth 1.4 billion years ago, a day was just over 18 hours. The length of a day has grown 175 thousandth of a second on average per year and is expected to continue at this rate for the next millions or billions of years. The moon will eventually stop moving when it reaches a stable distance from Earth. When this happens, the two will be tidally locked, rotating at the same pace, with the moon visible from only one side of Earth. Of course, that's assuming either of them survive the sun's destructive red giant phase. Uh-oh, that's bad news. The BBC reports a home insulation chemical used extensively throughout China may be damaging the Earth's ozone layer. The chemical, CFC-11, was completely banned eight years ago because it resulted in a massive rise in emissions of a gas to the Earth's protective layer. According to the BBC, around 70% of sales in China use the illegal gas to insulate their houses because it is better quality and much cheaper than the other alternatives. CFC-11 is made from chemicals such as carbon, chlorine, and fluorine. CFC-11, or trichlorofluoromethane, was mainly used as a refrigerant and is a colorless liquid which is quick to escape containers even if it is packed tightly. When CFCs are exposed to UV rays in the atmosphere, the molecule breaks down into individual atoms, which includes chlorine. The oxygen atoms in the ozone then react to the chlorine atom and rips apart the ozone molecule, which damages the ozone layer. Because of the sheer amount of CFC-11 being used, this could have the potential to reverse the healing that is starting to take place in the ozone layer.